raccontare su un canale vuol dire ovviamente svolgere funzioni di vario tipo, in questo caso qua, divulgare la ricerca e la cultura sul sonno, a volte per raccontare cose, a volte per demistificare o correggere delle cose. Quello che vedete nel montaggio che fra un po' realizzerò è un filmato diffuso in questi ultimi giorni, molto molto popolare su vari siti di giornali internazionali, la BBC, la CBS, che fa vedere come durante il sogno la pelle They can trigger cells underneath the surface of their skin to change color. However, it might be that these soft-bodied creatures aren't putting on a light show just to confuse predators. Recently, PBS released a mesmerizing clip of a sleeping cephalopod changing her color multiple times. What makes it even more amusing is marine biologist Dr. David Shields' narration. He tries to guess what the octopus Heidi was dreaming about. The video was taken from the documentary Octopus. Making Contact which premieres on PBS on October 2nd. It features Dr. David Scheel, a professor at Alaska Pacific University in Anchorage, and Heidi, the octopus he's raised. In the documentary, Heidi demonstrates her abilities of solving puzzles, using tools, and escaping through small spaces. She also seems to behave like a family pet, as she learns to recognize faces, getting excited when humans come near her tank. She even exhibits an inclination to play with Scheel's daughter. Octopuses typically activate their camouflage superpowers in response to changing conditions around them. So, does this video of a resting octopus color display mean that it's dreaming about something? Maybe. Even though research into cephalopod sleep and dreaming has grown quite a bit over the years, there still isn't enough evidence to say for sure if they dream the way we do. First, let me say that I am not a sleep biologist, and so not an expert in these behaviors, Dr. Scheel said. I can speak to the questions about sleep and octopuses from a passing familiarity with some of the literature on sleep in animals. Unlike humans, octopuses don't have a centralized brain. Instead, they have multiple brains, their bundles of neurons are distributed in their limbs. It does appear that many animals, and perhaps all animals with nervous systems, must sleep. Sleep has been noted for example in two different species of jellyfish, which of course are not fish but cnidarian invertebrate animals related to corals and anemones, Dr. Scheel said. Sleep can be recognized behaviorally, and studies have found that both octopuses and their relatives cuttlefish have behaviors that satisfy the definition of sleep. They become quiescent and less responsive to disturbance but can be roused. After a period of sleep deprivation, they sleep longer to catch up. And their brains are active during these sleep behaviors. Dr. Scheel wanted to be a marine biologist since he was a child. I read a lot of science fiction, and when I was 12, Working with marine animals seemed as close as I was likely to get to studying aliens. Heidi was an octopus who lived with my daughter Laurel and I for the making of this film. She loved to chase a ball on a string around her tank. Dr. Scheel added that he has always liked octopuses. What's not to like? Octopuses are inherently interesting creatures. I have also spent time studying African lions, bats and rodents, killer whales, seals, seabirds, and crabs, among other animals. They are all interesting. Over the years though octopuses have stayed a constant while work with the other has come and gone. Currently, Dr. School focuses on fundraising for equipment improvements in the aquarium lab at Alaska Pacific University. I will be conducting further research on octopus behavior and cognition. I am also working to publish more results from the field work on octopus behavior in both Alaska and Australia. I am being asked about collaborating on investigating sleep. Del polpo, l'octopus, cambia colore. Bello, suggestivissimo, è suggestivissimo questa forma di modificazione del, del colore della pelle del polpo. Il problema è che eh, non è quello che si racconta, eh, che stia accadendo. Nei fatti quello che vediamo è un fenomeno molto interessante. In risposta a qualcosa che non sappiamo, in un polpo temporaneamente immobile, si assiste a una variazione di cromatismo, cioè del colore della pelle. Che stia sognando non lo possiamo dire ed è verosimilmente assai improbabile, ma dirò di più, è addirittura in dubbio che stia dormendo, non che non dorma, no? non dorma il polpo, ma che in quello specifico caso, durante il periodo di rappetizione di quelle immagini, 
ci sia sostanzialmente un sonno in atto e che quindi quello che si sta osservando, il cambiamento di colore dell'epidermide del polpo è in qualche modo il parallelo, diciamo così, di qualcosa nella fisiologia interna dell'animale che dorme. È un fenomeno molto interessante del polpo, purtroppo in risposta a qualcosa che non sappiamo se è del sonno o della veglia, meno che mai del sonno. Di sicuro non possiamo dire, anche se ci piacerebbe dire, che il polpo è una specie in qualche modo così sorprendente in cui noi visualizziamo attraverso il cambiamento di colore la presenza o addirittura eventualmente la natura dei sogni del polpo.